What is going on today, guys? And today we are doing something just a tad bit different. So I have a pre-recorded group call of me and the community in one of our group calls that we do on Thursdays and Sundays for the guys in my program that I want to play for you guys. I think it's super special for you guys as outsiders to get to see how we run our community, the group calls and the support provided for me and all of my clients. And so in that group call, we go over fat oxidization, fat mobilization. And in these group calls, I just add a ton of support, answer a ton of questions on specific programs, specific mechanisms using supplementation and, you know, specific mechanisms on meal timing, what we should eat, and it just helps me answer a ton of questions, add a ton of extra love and support for all of my clients. So it's going to be super cool for you guys to kind of see on an outsider's perspective how we run our community. Um, but if you guys don't know me by now, my name's Adam. I currently work with 63 guys. I help career-driven men lose body fat and keep it off for good using higher-level nutrition like metabolic priming, and I have helped 63 guys in the past six months lose an incredible amount of weight and get incredibly, incredibly lean and shredded. So if you want to know a little bit more about me, there's going to be a couple asset links in the description of this video. There's going to be how to use uh, how to use metabolic priming to lose body fat. There's going to be a ton of my client transformations, a ton of my client testimonials. And if you want to be a part of the community of absolute killers and want to work with us one-on-one, -on -one, there's going to be an application link below for you to sign up a time, see if it's a good fit for us to work together and if it is and i think you're a good fit to join our community we'll get you rocking and we'll help you lose an insane amount of body fat and an insane amount of support around the way anyway so let's get right to the video i'm just going to drop this a completely raw video of the group call from this sunday how are we doing guys oh how you doing what's up in. got some more people joining in what's going on fellas how are we doing today hey, hey ben what's going on man I think I think your uh, your mic's off. There, that's better. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. How are we doing today, fellas? Joseph, nice Good. to see you today. Yeah, thank you. Mike, looking handsome as ever, man. <laughs> and then Nick, how you feeling, dude? Good. Good. Good deal, man. We're we'll waiting for some some other guys to get in. Here's David. <clears throat> there he is. David, what's going on, man? Hey, Adam, what's up? You having a good week so far? Good weekend? Um, yeah, it's just yeah, I am actually. Good deal. Decent. Good deal. Huh? A decent, decent couple days of eating in a row. You're looking good, man. Your back's looking really good. Thank you. Dude, really, really good. I'm really happy with the progress you've made, man. Me too. <clears throat> we'll see some other other guys join. <clears throat> but anyways, how are we guys doing? Everyone doing all right this week so far? Yep. I know uh, Joseph and Ben, you kind of getting started off the bat, really. First first group call. So these are like our group calls. We're going to start doing two a week. But basically, this is just me being able, to put, being able to put a flag in the sand for an hour every single week so I can just answer a bunch of questions for you guys. And so I can be very hands-on, answer a ton of questions, and help you guys out wherever you need help okay so you know we're going to start doing a second one during the week because i realized that like one some people can't always make the the sunday one so um here, here's the announcements just went off so some other people should, should just join but um <clears throat> yeah so this is like wasting the time that i put aside and anything that you guys want to learn more about you know i'll, I'll usually come with some like in interesting stuff and some interesting talks as well but this the purpose of these is for you guys so like if you do as do have any questions you want me to dive deeper into even like the science behind stuff or you know having trouble with one of your, your programs you know you can pull up to the group call and I'll, I'll help you guys out here's andres just pulled up <clears throat> Dude, Nick, I just I just ordered the jet puffed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was like, I, I was I just ran out of my uh, mine. I was like, dude, I got I got to get the jet puffed marshmallow. Yeah, I'm running out, but uh, I decided to. I was at Fort Belvoir and they had it. They had a uh, moon pie flavor there, so I picked that up, and that's that's pretty decent. I just got the cosmic brownie one too, so I got the nice. jet puff and the cosmic brownie. I think that one's pretty new too, so I'm excited to try that one out. Nice. Oh, Andres, man, dude, you are looking good, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> you are looking really good. Thanks. Dude. How are you feeling? 
I'm feeling good. Feeling good. Good deal. Here's Rick just joined too. Let's see where he's at. Yeah. <clears throat> but anyways, man, like what you're eating like 27, 2800 calories now. How do you feel? You feeling hungry at all? Feeling good? No, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. Okay, good. I have more energy now. <laughs> Your workout's going well too? Yeah. Everything's hey, going Rick. <laughs> What's going on, man? How you feeling, dude? Good deal. Good deal. <clears throat> we'll wait about one more one more minute. Some other guys could join up. <laughs> so so Ben and Joseph, um, you guys are both starting on Thursday. So I gave you guys a couple, one a couple of days to kind of review the course materials and kind of review everything before your start date. Mm -hmm. If you have any other any questions on what needs to be implemented before your start date, please let me know this week. I, I'm more than happy to help out. Um, but you know, we should get you going first thing on Thursday. I'll have everything ready for you on Thursday. What you simply need to do is just sub submit. Um, Submit your fasted photos that morning and I'll send you over a video going over everything in detail. And in that video, once I send that, we'll set up our first one-on-one -on -one for the following week. And so you have a little bit of time to look over the program, to you know, look over my video I sent you, and then we'll kind of go through all the data together and any, any confusion, any questions I can kind of go over, but we're gonna really nail it that, that week um, as well. So I have I've no doubt you guys, you guys are gonna, guys are gonna crush it. So <clears throat> Chris just joined in too. Okay, cool. So, so Thursday will be, um, we just submit photos and our, uh, what, like our My Fitness Pal uh, data? Yeah, yeah. So, Thursday, just one, I'll be able to, I, I can already see your My Fitness Pal data. So, like, I, I can already see what you eat, what you're doing. Um, the last, thing oh, was, okay. I don't have to upload it. No, no, no. It, it just, it just shows up on my end. So, I, I, I can already see it. As once once you get it connected and get um, it connected with my my my, my inter interface, it shows up automatically on mine. It syncs to my side, so you're you're good. On oh, that. but I I don't I don't I haven't done that yet, but to my knowledge, I don't know if it's okay. Well, that that'll be in the onboarding modules through how to connect my fitness file, how to integrate my fitness file. Okay, okay. So, but like I had one one question, which is uh yeah. I've been using like a MyNet Diary and uh, man, I prefer the interface. Maybe it's just because I'm not used to my fitness pal, but I don't know if that if that doesn't integrate. Then I'll uh, I'll just yeah use my fitness that. pal. But I wish we did have other options. But with the only integration I I have access to is my fitness pal. Uh, okay, okay, that'll be that'll show up. I I I'm sorry, uh, but like you know. My Fitness Pal is it's it's an, it's an old app. Like it's probably the the the, yeah. the, the oldest food tracker app there is. Right. It's not really extremely hard to learn. There's I made a whole module on how to work it and like the tips yeah. and tricks and like stuff on that as well. And also, if you need a little bit more help, then I'm more than happy to help you with it too. But um, I do want you to start tracking with My Fitness Pal because one, I'll be able to break down your what you're eating, kind of the macronutrients, see where we could kind of improve on and then more specifically like if we have digestive issues and i can kind of break down your week of eating and kind of see what's going going on with your digestion as well so <clears throat> yeah no first, you bet awesome. <laughs> first, perfect if, if you need like i said if you have any other questions with that like let me know i'm more than happy to help out okay yeah i, I think it's just a preference thing you know like uh you're used to apple you don't want to use android or vice versa yeah, but yeah. they're no, both I, the I, same I, I get it. And I wish, I wish there was an update that we could like have the possibility of having like other options, but, <clears throat> but anyways, Chris, man, where you at? I think Chris just joined. Hey, can you hear me, man? Yeah. 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 What's going on? Okay. Man? Yeah. Not much, man. I'm getting ready to go on a walk. So I just wanted to make sure I caught the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> dude, congratulations, man. New lows all, all this week. Oh, thank you, man. Yeah. Feeling great, dude. Good, good. So you said you're going on a walk? Yeah, just uh, I was uh, I was realizing the meeting was starting right now, and I still got to just try to get my walk in after dinner. Good deal, good deal. So. But all right, anyways, we'll kind of get started. So like, if anybody has any questions, right off, right off. Oh, Jacob just an answered what came into. We'll wait till he gets in. <clears throat> Jacob, what's going on? 
Hey, Richard, but I'm, I'm going to be uh, going to work, so I'm going to just be listening in today, too. No worries, no worries. Hey, man, congratulations. All new lows this week. Yeah, appreciate it, man. Assuming that's me. You're, you're feeling good, dude? Yeah, yeah I'm just fucking busy today, dog. <laughs> okay, okay. But, yeah, so, um, anyways, before we do get started, so... Um, everybody who is here, we will be opening up another group call for Thursday. So obviously we have almost shoot 53 guys in the community so far. So like, I want to be as available for you guys as possible throughout the week. If anything was to happen, if you need a, any, any a little bit more one-on-one -on -one help, if I needed to break some stuff down further for you guys, I want to be as available for as possible for each and every single one of you. And so I'm going to set up, set aside an hour on Thursday nights at 7 PM. So in the school app under uh, calendar, there is a new link for Thursday night group calls. So you can go ahead and click that link and you can put it on your Google calendar. And so like one, it'll pop up on your phone and the, the link will be there as well. And then you will also get a reminder on th Thursday nights as well. So um, within this next week or two, so I'm going to start having some of the guys that I've been working with for, for almost shoot about, about a year now. Um, more specifically, Tristan, who I, I've been working very close with, um, he's going to lead a group call here within the next couple of weeks. So I kind of want to let, hear, let you guys hear from Tristan, just being like as far as he is in the program with me. A um, little backstory on Tristan is that he lost 100 pounds within a, within a year, came to me eating 1,400 calories per day. And we were able to like fix his hormones, fix his metabolism. He's eating like 2,700 calories a day. And he's the same exact weight as he came with me, but like looks absolutely amazing. I post him on my, uh, my main page. And so with that being said, this like extra group call is going to allow me to open up like more group call settings and more like, you know, um, other guys to be able to, like you guys to be able to hear from and learn from as well, because I want this to be something like, you know, something you guys can take from other people, um, and really just apply um, stuff that you learn from other people as well as is a, is a form of motivation um, or whatever as well. So I think that would be a really cool group call to have like Tristan lead that because I kind of talked to him earlier this week. And um, you know, I think you guys would love to hear his story about how he were from where he came and how he how he's kind of got to where he's at. And it's, it's a really cool story. But um, anyways, like I said, that that link for the Thursday night group calls will be in the school uh, modules under um, calendar. Go ahead and add that to your group. Go out, add that to your Google Calendar, and it, there'll also be a reminder on Thursday nights as well. And then all of these for the new guys, all of these recordings get sent into the Slack. So if you miss a day, or you know you just want to simply watch some of the other group calls in the past, all of these get recorded, all of them get saved, and all of them get put in the group call recording chats. Okay, so you know, like I said, the purpose of these calls is for me to give as much information in a short amount of time as possible answer as much questions. And if anybody's done what he's got any questions, then, you know, I can just start talking because like, <laughs> I, I, I can, I can talk you guys' head off for a while about just, you know, random, random stuff about the, you know, neurology and endocrinology of stuff, you know, for hours. So um, anyways, with that being said, you know, let's, does anybody have any questions? Like go ahead and, you know, we got the raise your hand button so we can kind of get you guys in, in line. So if anybody does have any questions about their program, about what's going on, um, we'll kind of walk through step by step and um, we'll kind of answer answer some questions. So, um, let's, yeah, let's get started. David? Uh, sure, yeah. Um, my question is, I noticed that you have me, I don't know if it's other people in the group as well, on a split program. And I'm curious as to if there's like a reason or rationale behind that as opposed to like a total body five days a week. Uh, have it more broken out. So it, it comes down to like rest period in between time that you lift per like body part. Um, obviously rest is like super, super important when it comes to like building good muscle tissue and recovering from like your training. So like scientifically, the best way to build good muscle tissue is to strength train, strength train a certain muscle group twice a week and have an allocated amount of rest in between each. Okay. So like, you know, and as opposed to doing full body lifts, you know, you know, five days a week, you can build more muscle tissue by hitting, you know, chest, chest and, you know, chest and tries on Monday, giving it a full two day rest and then hitting chest and tries, you know, later in the week or, or whatever the make case may be. Um, but that is the most optimal way for the most amount of muscle growth, because a lot of people, what they do is one, they overestimate 
actual rest in between your workouts, right? Because like rest is where like you build more muscle resting than you do when you work out, right? Because when you work out, you're breaking your breaking muscle down when you're resting, recovering, refueling, put your body into a state of recovery, like a parasympathetic state, it's actually when it's going to be the most heal, like the most able to heal. So um, th- does that make sense? Why, why we do that? Perfectly. Yeah, I just was curious why we did that. Yeah, yeah. And, and like, I know there's a tons of different training styles out there, like, you know, cr- cr- CrossFit, whatever, whatever you want to say. This is the one that has worked best, not only for me, but every single one of my clients so far, as of our, as far as, as building good muscle tissue as possible and recovering in between lifts, lifts as well. Because, you know, even like they did studies <coughs> that kind of went into like people who work out six days a week versus people who work out five. And people who work out five days a week actually seen more muscle tissue gain and strength gained by working out five days a week instead of six, simply by having one more rest day, which is a super interesting fact because at like, you know, t- the typically, you know, guys come to me and they, they think that one, well, you think more is always better, like just more is better, which it, it's not the case when it comes to your body because your body is 10 times smarter than anybody like you are or I am. And so like it needs that certain set of rest to be able to recover correctly. So, um, and like, like I said, like my, I mentioned to every single one, the, the purpose of what we do is try to gain muscle tissue, right? Because muscle tissue is ha- like not highly metabolic, um, but also highly glucose absorbent, right? And so having more muscle tissue and optimizing in like actual growing muscle tissue will you know, skyrocket your metabolism as well. So, um, and then like even going into like, so I've, I've been doing a, a lot of like studies and right, like you know, case studies for myself and just kind of going through literature in my free time because I do that's what I do every single week. And I was even looking into um, like the fat mobilization and fat oxidization, like the science behind fat, fat mobilization and fat oxidization. So people think that fat burning is just one simple thing, right? Just like fat burning. So it's, it's a two step process. It's a fat mobilization and a fat oxidization. Right. So when you break down working out high intensity cardio, low intensity cardio, strength training. So when they broke down the science between strength training and low intensity cardio, strength training after you work out burns calories in the form of like kind of raising your metabolism over like up to 24 hours. Right. Which is like when I say uh, metabolism, I mean the fat oxidization actually after you work out in a strength training, you know, setting can f- burn fat in a fat oxidization setting up to 24 hours. So on the opposite end of things, low intensity cardio, like walking can bur- will burn tr- like more glycerol, which is like carbohydrates after your workout, right? So it's, it, it's, it's kind of a weird flip when I'm doing, when I was doing this with the research on it this week um, with fat mobilization and fat oxidization, because like, Losing fat comes from your ner- your nervous your like nervous system. Like the neurology behind it is like your nervous system releasing triglycerides <clears throat> to actually mobilize fat and then to oxidize fat. So like why we spoke why we specifically in all your programs focus solely on strength training and right off the bat low intensity cardio until we can get you know a little bit more leverage and we can really um, get your body to burn those calories. Strength training will lead to more fat oxidization to up to 24 hours after you work out. Low intensity cardio, like walking, will help burn calories in the form of glycerol or glycogen or carbohydrates after your workout. So you pair those two together, and that's when you start to see crazy results with building good muscle tissue, losing body fat, and Rick here loses 13 pounds in 11 days. So like, you know that that's the that's the science behind behind why I have everything in, like in your guys's plans the, the way it is. I know I kind of went on a tangent right there, but I hope I did answer your question, David. Uh, very thoroughly, yes. <laughs> but um, yeah, and like 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 I said, and I've said this before, and like I've said said to a couple of you guys, like you know, in our one on ones, but like. You know, and I made a complete video about it this weekend, and it comes in the form of like, 
weight loss versus fat loss, right? Everybody here, like, I want to lose fat. Like, I want to, like, the thing about weight loss and fat loss is it's two separate things. Like, weight loss is like losing muscle tissue, degradation of muscle tissue, just seeing the weight scale on the scale go down. We are here to focus on fat loss, right? Because at the end of the day, nobody really cares about their weight, right? Because society has put uh, has put a pinpoint on the weight on going down based upon like, you know, looking better. And that's not that's not true, right? We're here to lose fat, right? Because we want to maintain muscle tissue, because muscle tissue is highly metabolic. So like, you know, why I bring this up is that a ton of people who have came to me in the past, like one, think about like when you look like some people lose on a diet, 10, 10 to 20 pounds right off the bat, right? To cut calories very low. Um, and then the weight starts to slow down, right? And then like after you get the initial weight off, the initial glycogen, the initial water in between your test or organs, it starts to slow down and you've already, you've positively reinforced your mind to lose a crap ton of weight really fast. And it's like very, you know, you're like, crap, I figured it out. And then it kind of slows down and you kind of give up and you just get it right back, right? So why we really try to shift our focus to more of we're here to lose fat is because like David, for example, like you've, you've lost you know, like what, 10, 8, 10 pounds, but you look like you've lost 25, right? And that's what we're here to do. We're here to build, build muscle and lose fat, right? Because one, if, we're, if you're building muscle and retaining muscle while you're you know, losing body fat, you look and appear a lot leaner, right? You look and appear a lot leaner. So, you know, some people like Andres will, it has been 208 to 209 for seven weeks, but you take his side-by-sides and he looks like he's lost 35 pounds, right? And so like, that's really what I want, like all of us to make sure we shift our mindset. It's like, and like, it's great. Like I want all of you guys, like, the weight scales go down. Like, you know, like, 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 like I said, Rick loses 13 pounds, 11 days. Fantastic. Fuck yeah. You know, Chris da down, you know, the three pounds this week. Amazing. Right. But at some point, like, it's not always going to be as linear as that. Right. Because at some point you're going to start to gain muscle tissue and there's going to be a discrepancy in between how much we're losing and how much, you know, like there's going to be a little bit of a discrepancy because your body's going to start to change very, very nice and neatly. Right. Um, and, but does that make sense the way I'm describing that? Yes. Does it make sense? Yep. Good. You all good? Breaking up. I think so. <laughs> Anyways, does anybody, um, did anybody else have um, any uh, qu any questions right off the bat? We can kind of get into some other stuff. See, Nick, Nick, I just got your notification, man. <laughs> Nobody else? How's everybody's eating this week? Everybody eating good? Yes, sir. I see mm -hmm. Rick, Rick's chew, chewing on some chewing on some gum over there. <laughs> hey, sugar, sugar, sugar free, bro. Sugar free. <laughs> <laughs> it's sugar free gum, man. That, that'll 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 save your life. So that, I'm, I'm telling gum. you, man. That that uh, sweet tooth, you got to have some sugar free, and then you got to have something with a little bit of taste in it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do like one diet. Have you guys tried tried in like the uh, the what is it the strawberries and cream diet soda by Dr Pepper? No, Nick, not actually. Man. Not yet. Nick knows what I'm talking about. Ooh, yeah, that's that's super super good. So uh, that's we like do. My favorite diet soda. We uh, I actually work for Pepsi, and they're coming out with that. Uh, what is that? That soda that's like a peaches and cream, sugar free something oh. something. Yeah, I, I think I actually heard about that. Yeah, it's coming out. They also made the, uh, believe it or not, the the hot Cheetos drink. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> is it a hot Cheetos drink? Yes, that was horrible, man. <laughs> I had something like that in Japan. It's like it was called hot cola. It's like yep. orange. It, it just tastes it. like it tastes literally like fire. 
It's good. Yeah. I liked it. Yeah. I mean, it went great, but it, it's literally like drinking a bottle of fire. It's like sweet and then it burns. Right? <laughs> yep, that's it. The ingredients actually were uh, cayenne pepper. <laughs> really? So yeah. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. what's, what's everyone's favorite diet soda? Like, I need some, I need some new new options, anyways. Uh, Pepsi Zero. Pepsi Zero, just like just straight Pepsi Zero, just right Pepsi off the bat. Zero. Yep. Fair they enough. do make everything zero now. Uh, root beer zero, orange zero. Ooh, yeah. I like uh, I like the I like the diet root like the diet root beer is really good. Yeah. Root beers have always been my favorite since I've like been a, like a little kid. Yeah, well, they just released the uh, the zero. Um, they just released it about two weeks ago. Really? Okay. Should be hitting the, the stores pretty soon. Mountain yeah. Dew is killing it with all their zero flavors. They need to yep. keep it up. I love yeah, Mountain Dew. Dew Zeros, all the Baja Blast flavors. I wish they yep. would do all the flavors. We yep. went to a, we went to Tennessee. This is weird. To a Mountain Dew Outpost a couple years ago is like part of my wife and I's anniversary, and it was the Mountain Dew Outpost event. They had like ten flavors that they only ended up marketing one. They had a pickle flavor. They had a pickle flavor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but their zeros are so good. They're so good. Yes, sir. That might be kind of good, honestly, though. Like with a burger. Did you say a burger? Yeah, like the pickle flavored soda. Drink that with like a burger or something, you know, like in a hot summer. Honestly, like I'd have to try it to like really know, like really have an opinion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, my 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 go to is always the strawberries and cream, Dr Pepper. I just I like that one the most so far but like mountain dew does have like a like ignorant amount of flavors they do <laughs> like, they do like an incredible amount of of flavors like every time i go into the gas station i see like a brand new one so yes they, uh, especially around the, around the holidays they uh they release just uh like seasonal mm. around like halloween and fourth of july and all kinds of some of them are mystery flavors which is basically the mystery flavors is a bunch of batches put together and you got a mystery flavor. That's all it is. He said just a <laughs> bunch of batches put together. Yep. yep. <laughs> That's all it is, man. That's all it is. Yeah. That's kind of funny. Just Their red, white, and blue ones this summer are pretty good. Yes. That's the not, Liberty not edition. Zero. Yeah. They're not zero, but they're still good. Yeah. Yep. It's not a, it's not a uh, soda, but polar seltzer, the black cherry they have is really good. And there's cranberry. That's awesome. Like the, both of them are, it's kind of just seltzer, but it really tastes good. That's good. I drink a lot of seltzer. Yeah, polar polar one. You got to try the black cherry. It's really good. Yeah, I used to I used to drink what is those those uh uh what I forget what they're called. It's like the bit. There's like the super long bottles. Um, ice. It's called like ice. Oh, yeah, those are those are pretty good. And also those are like I'm pretty sure those have those me like the sugar-free content of those is a little bit lower too obviously with like you know anything diet it's like obviously zero calorie at the end of the day but it does have like kind of like dextrose and like really heavy amounts of like sugar-free stuff in it which for me it will affects my digestion a little bit but like it's zero calorie anyway, so I'm just like, you know what? Like, we'll just bite the bullet for the rest of the day, like whatever. <laughs> like, <laughs> like <laughs> for the uh, for the sweet tea guys, uh, Milo's puts out a zero sugar. Yeah, I actually see, I I seen I seen that one of my my last roommate used to like die for that stuff. So. Man, that stuff is really good, man. <laughs> is it? Yes, sir. Good. I, I, might, I might have to try that. I'm not a huge sweet tea guy, but like like. I heard Milo's is like a little bit better than most sweet tea. Yes, sir. Yeah, especially if you live in Texas, you gotta like your sweet tea, man. I know, dude. I I actually have not even been to like barbecue in Texas yet. Oh my! I know. I'm I'm being <laughs> here for man. I've been here. I've been here for almost two and a half years. I don't get out much though, so. <laughs> yeah, that's a, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to run you up some barbecue yeah, from yeah, down yeah, here from yeah. Dallas, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have to come up to Dallas and get some barbecue with you, Rick. Man, come on down, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be your tour guide, man. Yeah, down in I, San Antonio, we used to pair uh, brisket and big red together. Yes, okay. sir. It was so good. Yo, yep. You guys been to, or to Austin to good old Terry Blacks? Yep, Terry Blacks. Yeah. Well, that restaurant, the Salt Lake, is that still open? 
Salt Down there? Oh. Um, I think that I've, 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 I sound very familiar. So, I, uh, I, when I was in, I competed in Austin last summer and like, I was going to go to Terry Black's, but I was like, on, I was like on prep, at like 3% body fat and like could not eat anything anyways. <laughs> so, um, I, but like Terry Black, Black's is supposed to be like super, super famous. So I want to go there again and go back to Austin. I do need to do barbecue. I like, to be honest, like. I just like chicken. Like, I, I don't know. I just like chicken and rice. Like, like I'm fine with eating the same stuff every day. That's like just how I am though. Um, obviously I like, I, I purposely get stuff in my diet for like, like health reasons. Like, you know, like beef is really good. Like for, to put in your diet for the natural creatine and the fatty, the triglycerides in um, uh, beef, especially help also with like kind of with fat mobilization as well and fat oxidization like those certain tri triglycerides are really good to have like a, a little bit of beef in your diet right as, as well well with like healthy fats like avocados and stuff so um but yeah that kind of leads me leads me leads me into like kind of what i was going to talk about is that like you know um to like i had a conversation for, for who it was yesterday about like meal timing right which is like pretty interesting because at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. You know, it doesn't really matter too much. What matters is like how much you eat in a day's time, like, you know, calories in versus calories out. You could eat 4,000 calories in one meal. You could eat 4,000 calories throughout, throughout the entire day. But I will say for like better digestive health for, you know, in like for all, all around better digestive health, better me metabolic health, better, better nutrient absorption, eating like four to five times a day is probably the best in, in my opinion what i've personally done what everything that all the research i've done i'm not saying that like one you guys have to have to like spread your meals out like like that or like i know certain people like get home from work they're crap ton of calories behind they just slam a huge meal like that's fine like you're gonna be fine it's not gonna hinder your progress but like you know the, the certain people like they, you may like wake up like a couple pounds heavier the next day because like fat, like, um, you know, meal timing will affect with your digestion and will affect your weight the next day. So people like who eat really, really late and wake up the next day might may wake up a little bit heavier. That's just how it is. Like, it's not going to hinder your progress. It's just undigested food. Um, but like, if you are having digestive issues or like, you know, you do see the weight spikes or like late, late in the, like early in the morning, like try station your meals out a little bit more. What I've even seen, like in everything that I've read, like even like the b bulk of your meals should be like from breakfast until early dinner, like before dinner, and then have like a small dinner. And so like one, you know, your your body will like, you'll be able to sleep better. You'll be able to go into like a better sleep with more like protein in your diet before bed rather than carbohydrates and like not like a huge fulfilling meal because think about it like this, if your body's working extremely hard while you're asleep to try to burn, like to try to like digest everything, burn a bunch of calories. And on top of that, like if you eat like, like a crap ton of carbohydrates right before bed, it could mess with your sleep patterns just a, just a tad bit in certain cases. Some people can do just fine, right? The reason why I bring this up is that if like you guys do start to see like poor sleep patterns or like bad sleep, you know, then like, look, check out your meal timing, check out your carbohydrate timing before bed and try to switch some of that up because like the best like meals before bed are high in protein and high in fat, right? Because protein more specifically keeps you satiated for longer. It's, it, you know, digests relatively slow. So your body can utilize it through the night while you sleep. And then fats as well is really good before bed because it helps you like put your body into a deeper sleep. Like, like basically you guys ever eat like Thanksgiving dinner, or Christmas dinner, and all you want to do is like pass out. Right. Well, that's why, because like it's, it's such a high caloric value macromolecule that it like really makes you like really calm and be able to sleep. So like a real huge steak before bed, like, or for me, I do chicken and, you know, eggs, like three eggs and so chicken. Um, but the only reason I bring this up is because like, if like you guys are sleep seeing poor sleep patterns, Take a look at what you're eating and what, and what time you're eating it as well. Like if you're eating like a crap ton of carbohydrates before bed, 
and like you're you're kind of like restless at the middle of the night, you have to remember that carbohydrates are your preferred energy source, right? And so if your body is like lighting up at night with carbohydrates, like your sleep patterns could be just off just a tad, right? If you guys have no problem with it, like just disregard what I said. The reason I, the only reason I bring this up is to kind of, is to like, if you guys are having issues that you can kind of look at this and kind of say, okay, where, where could I kind of fix this at, right? Because, you know, going back to what I said earlier about your nervous system being the most important part in fat mobilization and fat oxidization, sleep is the one thing that will affect your nervous system the most, right? Your nervous system is for like cortisol, inflammation, everything like what I what I do specifically like down to neurology, hormone, hormonology, and endocrinology within fat mobilization, fat oxidization, and just you know overall the it works the best when you have the best sleep, right? Which is in every single one of your programs why I have eight hours of sleep because it all aligns perfectly hormonally when you're like get really good sleep, right? So like that's why I really try to harp on you guys because like people like over estimate like the p power of just the supplement sleep right just the supplement good sleep and like deep sleep well one f fix a bunch of cortisol levels because obviously cortisol levels in the body are bad like stress there's two types of cortisol two two types of cortisols cortisol levels psychological and physiological right so psychologically like you know stress from work and then physiological physiological like you know lack of calories or like doing too much um, weight training or just like your body not recovering properly right and the best way to fix both of those you know good sleep right so um you kind of full, brought me full circle right there to like like really you know getting the deep into the deep parts of like like how important sleep is for each and every when everyone in your guys's you know program so make sure you guys are getting good sleep that's what i'm saying <laughs> but <clears throat> anyways so you guys have you guys had any other questions for me so guys, what guys, what would uh, so if, uh what would be the latest you would want to eat dinner like so you can have, like a good amount of uh time to yeah to sleep so this, i will say this i don't think it matters but if you do eat dinner late go for a walk right because one, walking will help you digest that food. Like walking specifically helps with digestion of food. And like, you know, like like I said, for some people, it doesn't matter. Some people can lay down and go to bed, be sleep just fine, and like then nothing's going to be hurt. Um, just keep in mind, you might wake up a little bit heavier the next day, but that's just like, that's not like real weight. It's just undigested food. Does that make sense? So like, you know, if like you do, you do like when you guys get home super late from work, it's like 11 p.m. You're like, crap, I got a bunch of calories to eat. Like, yeah, hit, hit those calories. Go for like a 10-minute walk. Let your body digest it and then go lay down. Like your body's going to be a lot better off with that but with that a little bit more digested um, than, you know, just eating and go, going straight and lay down. But I'm not saying this is like a do or die. I'm not saying like this is what you have to do. I'm saying if you do have symptoms of poor sleep or do you, or you do have – like you do wake up the next day – heavier and like you want to fix it like these are the action steps on how i would does that make sense yeah yeah mm -hmm. so <laughs> like at the end of the day guys it's it's calories in like calories more specifically macronutrients in a 24-hour span right that's what matters the most and like that even goes into like even what we were men mentioning about like even with with fasting right so fasting is more of like there is benefits to fasting, right? Um, but it's more a comfortability mechanism. It's more of like just eating when you're hungry. It's not. A, it's not about like eating within a two hour span, not tracking your calories. There's no difference. Like, like I said earlier, four thousand calories in one meal is the exact same as four thousand calories within a you know a twenty four hour span. So like, there's no difference between that. And I think that's where like, um, a lot of people that I come across in, to, in the industry get fasting wrong is because they like, want to cut into one certain time frame to eat, but they starve themselves the rest of the day 
and then they eat like a rabid dog for two two hours and they eat more than they would in the entire day just in that one certain setting because they they're super hungry but i'm not saying fasting is bad i'm not saying fasting is good i think fasting is great like some days for me like if i'm not hungry right when i wake up like i'll just push my breakfast back a little bit have like have a water and then halfway through my work day I'll have a breakfast like it's because I, I eat when I'm hungry right but I still make sure to space those meals out um but like I just got, wanted to kind of break into like fasting and why it's a thing kind of the science behind fasting um just because like I said I think a lot of people get it wrong and you like you're more welcome to use fasting as a mechanism of eating when you are comfortable but just remember fasting in general is still calories in versus calories out within a full day's time. Like that's what matters. Not what time you eat, like specifically, like how much you eat specifically. Does that make sense? Yeah. Perfect. But yeah, <clears throat> that was a good question though, Ben. Thank you for asking. So anyways, anybody else got anything? for me and big questions everyone's doing everyone's doing pretty fantastic here all the new guys are doing great so far mike's doing great chris, chris is doing great great rick's doing great andre's yeah, killing, it. Doing it. Dude, all of you guys are like in here absolutely crushing it I, i'm just gonna add something to nick's that man great this first week nick you're looking good this 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 first week but in how you feeling man nick um, pretty good. Um, not used to eating 225 grams of protein a day. That's, that's been the <laughs> hardest challenge. Like I can eat, like <laughs> I grew up in South ahead. Texas. I could put barbecue away like the pros. Um, mm -hmm. uh, but I'll tell you like <clears throat> trying to measure out and get 225 grams of protein. Um, th that's the hardest. Like I can drink water all day, but man, like my wife's like, did you make egg whites again? I'm like, yeah made eggs again, you know, it's like, you know, I buy like huge things of like pulled chicken, rinse it, cook it to keep the salt down off of it. I'm eating tons of egg whites, uh, but I'm, I'm measuring it out. Like I said, we meal prep together too. So um, like tonight we did this Korean beef dish that we did all the weights for and anything like that. So um, I'll build the meal and I, I can probably share it to the group too, if anyone's interested, but yeah, uh, like I'm down six pounds. Yeah. I feel good recovering from my surgery. So, dude, yeah, I seen you. I seen you're down in some weight, and this is like still like keep in mind, like dude, like you're like you're still like have a bum foot. <laughs> like I'm sorry yeah. to say, like your your foot's still out of commission. <laughs> you know? Yeah, but like that's that's good. Like dude, that that's really good. I'm really I'm really happy that you know, with the progress you've made made this week. And like just dude, just think about it when like we're able to go like a hundred percent and like get everything like really dialed in. Like dude, buckle up, man. It's gonna be some fun. Nice. And Adam, I'll say, man, you uh, you bumped me up to uh, 220 on my protein. And this week, my energy has been awesome. And uh, I feel like I don't know if there's like a magic number that I hit, but it's like uh, it, it feels like the number that I hit with my protein has got me fueled. Like I'm ready for my workouts. Yeah. I'm, and also, it's funny, we're at the highest amount of calories. And all of a sudden, I dropped three pounds this week. It's confusing as shit, but it's, it's I feel good. <laughs> Dude, well, welcome, welcome, welcome to the community, man. And Andre's been there, Rick's been there, like yes, sir. <laughs> everyone, yes, sir. <laughs> it's a, like, it's a, it's a, it's a really good uh, process, man. Very yeah. good process. Bre I'm and breaking, all, I'm breaking all beliefs. <laughs> yes, well, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I mean, I'm enjoying eating more food, walking less, and watching the scale go down. It's like, what is this wizardry? <laughs> <laughs> what is this wizardry? But yeah, dude, no, I'm, I'm super happy for you, man. Like, um, dude, you're just I, like, I literally told you, like, in one of our first one on ones, I'm like, hey, man, there's just going to be a week where you're going to wake up and it's just going to all start to fall off. <laughs> like, you mm -hmm. know, like, it's all just going to start to catch up because, like, you know, that's specifically why we start low and work up is because, like, we don't, I don't guess. Like, I'm not going to guess because right, right now you're at 22, 2300. I'm not, I, I would not guess that. Like, I'm not going to try to guess that. Like, that's why I work up, start low. <laughs> and work you into that and now like we nailed it on the spot and we're just gonna let it ride yeah man make does that make sense though why we do what we do and the process i use 
Oh, I, I, I'm definitely feeling it because at first it was, it was confusing and like, you know, kind of going down on calories or not down necessarily on calories, but uh, down on my fat. And, uh, and the first week I want to say like, you know, I lost like maybe five pounds that week and I'm like, okay, I can kind of do this. And then it, it stood still. And then when you jack the, the, when you jack the calories up and it started the weight loss again, it's just, uh, it, it's making more sense as it's happening. Yeah. Well, the reason why we, we start with fat low um, is because one fat is the, the certain macromolecule that affects your digestion the most since it has an eight calorie per one gram ratio. Um, so like, you know, lowering fat intake will like greatly, greatly improve your digestion. Right. So a lot of the guys I come like come across who work with me, like they're they're the old the guys like, yeah, like I hit my protein every day. Um, well, what are you eating? What well, beef, steak, pork, tenderloins. Like great, th those are all great foods. Don't don't get me wrong, but like their fat, your fat intake is like one like a little bit way too high. So one like having a lower fat intake, more specific to you know you, will not only help with digestion but also increase fat oxidization, right? Because that forces you to eat more white protein, like tila like the tilapia you've been eating, like chicken, um, like because specifically what like white protein has a high like. A certain amino acid in it that has a higher um higher fat oxidization count so like that's specifically why like we lower the fat intake get you to switch over to like some more like white beet white based protein and then you know we like i said we just raised your protein a little bit this week which like i said the amino acids in that like higher protein helps with fat oxidization a little bit better as well so yeah i, I ran and i got more 99 one turkey so i was like if he's gonna jack me up again on protein i was like i'm excited to do it so i started that with some melinda's and uh Ooh, yeah. i'm golden yeah yeah i just got i just got my my uh melinda's for the week four bottles i i, I cracked through about a, a bottle of, every two days like no joke like it's actually crazy <laughs> I told you I bought the I bought it by the gallon. I bought uh, two yeah. two and a half gallons. Yeah, yeah. If, you, if the new guys, if you guys want to see the the sauce we're talking about, it it'll be in the the uh, the the food section. Um, but yeah, if if you guys do like Nick, if you have your wife's recipe, throw it in that food section. Like I would more than happy try it. And that's for anybody else. If you guys like have anything you want to share within the the food question, like the food thing, like more than happy. I'll try I'll try out anything you guys send send over there, and I'll tell you what I think about it. Um, so yeah, that's, and that's what, that's why it's there. And like any so like sauces you guys have, dude, any, like, like Rick, when you, when the, when the new flavor comes out, throw that in there like, let me know what it looks like. So I can go buy it. Work. Yeah, I'll definitely. I'll, I'll, I'll drop it in the food section, man. When the new flavor is fixing to come out. Yeah. Perfect, dude. Perfect. But <clears throat> anyways, yeah. Does anybody else have, have anything else for me today? I'm gonna let you guys get out here a little bit early, earlier today so we can get this week started tomorrow. A question about like um, I, I know you had a module on it if you were taking vacation or, yeah. or going away and how to eat like I have actually a work trip coming up I'm gonna be away for yeah. three days. Uh, I'm actually going to a vacation resort for my work, which is even crazier. Mm -hmm. But uh, just a little more on how to actually I mean obviously I can get you know. The proteins and stuff but i won't have a scale there to actually measure stuff out and you know it. yeah so um yeah first of all if you you have one to the, the vacation module though a little bit yes yeah okay cool so like what what i would do is that obviously you're not gonna have the best access to weighing foods or being completely accurate right what i would do and this is something that you can do is that like when in doubt you can always use the palm of your hand as like a reference for four ounces, right? When in doubt, right? So what you can do specifically, Mike, is that like you, I would focus on just like protein, like just getting your protein in at least like with lower fat foods. So like if you're going to be on a vacation resort, I'm guessing they're going to have like fruit. They're going to have like, you know, fish, like white fish, you know, whatever it may be. I would keep your two main focuses to wider, wider protein, higher, higher fat oxidization, lower fat count, and just like snack on fruits, right? Okay. It's gonna, it's just gonna keep like keep your calories low. Like, 
obviously, man, I, like, I'm gonna be like, to be honest, you, you know, this too, it's not gonna be perfect. Like, that's just, that's just what we're stuck with. Like, we, we just got to do the best we can while we're gone. Um, but like, you can cognitively, like, you would be surprised that like, you will actually under eat when you're when you try when like, you forget about how to track. Like, it's, it's really, really strange how like your mind works with food, like, when you're not tracking, and like, you just stick to like, you know, white based meats, you know, stick to some fruits. Um, and then like, maybe even some like eggs or, or something, there's, there's something like a little bit of fats as well. But like, the thing is, is that like, you you know, good food from bad food now, like, you know, what good food, the healthy food with with not healthy food, I would eat, you know, two to three meals per day, keep it like, highly protein focused, and really just try to get at least your protein goal in to get you by at least those three days. It's not going to be perfect. But at the end of the day, zoom, like zoom out in every single one of your guys's programs. What is three days for to six months? You're gonna make you're gonna be fine, right? You're gonna be perfectly fine. Just make cognitive decisions. Don't go and go like absolutely nuts on food. And like just stick to protein, stick to some fruit. And you know, get get some good steps in walk, walk enough. And you know, if you can work out if you can't, that's fine. But like, you know, like I said, you're you're only gonna do so so good. Like that's just the reality of it. You're not gonna be able to be perfect. And I think you just have to accept that and you have to do the best you can. And that's specifically what I would do. I was just like, okay, like whatever, like these three days, I'll just do the best I can. I'll get enough steps. I'll try to work out when I can. I'll stick to you know white based meats and I'll get some some snack on some fruits while I can. There's carbohydrates, protein. And then you'll you'll get like miscellaneous fats just by like maybe the food the resort kicks it cooks it like the oils they cook it in or whatever like that like comes really fast like out of nowhere so does that does that kind of help a little bit yeah yeah i mean i i was looking at what the resort actually had for food uh it's in saint thomas so they they had a good variety of the fishes and all the the chickens and everything and a ton of fruit ton of fruit so yeah, I would just go like honestly, Mike. Just eat a bunch of like white fish. Like just, yeah. I don't like. I don't even think you have to restrict yourself, man. Like eat till you're full with white fish. Like you're gonna get enough. Like at the end of the day, like it is like, like I mentioned the vacation module. At the end of the day, when you're on vacation, you have a calorie bank, right? It's how many calories versus calories out. Macronutrients out out the window when you're on vacation. You can't track macronutrients, right? So when we can't track macronutrients, we track calories, right? That's like the fallback option, right? So like at the end of the day, like you may not be able to track macronutrients very well. You may not be able to track calories very well, but if you stick to white meat and some fruit, you're going to stay under your calorie amount, like, and you're going to be fine. And if you, even if you want to try to track it, use your fit, like use the palm of your hand, four ounces of white fish, put it in my fitness pal, not going to be perfect, but it's going to be close enough. And it'll actually give you like a little bit of, you know, it, it'll help you out mentally like okay well at least i'm trying you know like i'm not mm-hmm. completely giving up like at least i'm putting something in there and i'm trying or at least i'm close enough so that's that's what i what i would do and you know if you do have any questions while you're on vacation like in something comes oh, this, up sh- shoot me a message. this is strictly work okay i'm gonna be walking a ton i i, I go out and i uh, evaluate buildings and then we put plans together, rip them apart, rebuild them. It's one of those places that was hit by a hurricane two years ago. So, uh, mm-hmm. okay. going for the yeah, dude. Well, like, like, like I said, if you have any any questions, like with that, and if you don't know what to eat or you're kind of stuck and you're kind of like guessing, ask me. Throw it in the questions group in the chat. Somebody, I, all of us are here to help you out. Make sure that you get back safe and make sure this three days is you know go smooth for you. Okay. Cool. Matt, hey, can I chip in something on that? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I noticed from tracking in the past, it seemed like shrimp mm-hmm. had like a super high protein to versus calorie ratio. Mm-hmm. And most of the apps, like you can track like the number of shrimp. So it's pretty easy to, yep. Like, oh, I had 15 shrimp, you know? Yeah. That's, that's, a, that's fantastic. So four, four ounces of shrimp is 100 calories too, for reference, because it, shrimp has no fat in it so it's like a really like the wider the wider the meat the less fat content it has in it so um yeah that, that's that's amazing too like you could definitely do that like put how many shrimp you specifically eat right 
or like even like in my fitness pal they'll have like fillets right like how many fillets you do like two fillets three fillets whatever the case may be um but like i said it's not gonna be perfect man we know that but if you do need any help or you have any questions everyone here's how to help you okay Adam, just, just to chime in right quick mm -hmm. um if if y'all hop on amazon they do make a pocket scale really which, which i carry around all the time <laughs> No way. I didn't even know that. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Oh, shoot. Dude, you th throw the link in the in one of the chats. Throw it in the... Yeah, I could, I could throw it in there. Like I said, you can just uh, uh, Google uh, Amazon and then Pocket Scale. Okay. Yeah, dude, for sure. Put it in the fitness the fitness uh, group chat. And I want to take a look at that because I've, I've never heard of that, Rick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, but no, that, that's good to know. I'm, 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 I'm going to check that out. But anyways... Great, great question, Mike. I'm glad, glad, glad you brought that up this week. So, anyways, all right, guys. Well, I got to love you and leave you. Let's have an absolutely fantastic week. Joseph and Ben, welcome to the group chat. Super excited to have you. And I will see you guys on Thursday this week. So, midweek group call coming down. So, I love you guys. If you know, need anything this week, guys, I'm here to serve you at the end of the day. And make sure, let's have a killer week. How about that? All right. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. See you guys. Thank you. See you guys. <laughs>